I was training with the LA Galaxy before I went down and played in the minor leagues. Uh, with the San Diego Flash in the A-League. And my college coach set it up because I was the only guy that didn't get drafted after we won the national championship. So I went out there and trained and I thought I did really, really well. So the coach called me in, Octavio Zambrano at the time, and he said, hey, we're gonna take you to Florida. Uh, you know, we think you're playing really well. We're gonna give you, you know, two or three weeks in preseason with us and then we'll make a decision. I was like, great, this is the best news ever. So I was like, whoa, I went back in, they gave me my own bag, I had like number 29 or something crazy, had my own polo, I was like, oh my, I gotta, I'm gonna get on a flight, I've never been to Florida before, this is gonna be awesome. And one of my teammates from UCLA, Matt Reese, was there, so he went back, we drove separately from, from school, because we were still living there, he drove back to UCLA and told all of our friends that I was going. Not that I had made the team, but that like good things were happening for me, he was really stoked, and. And it was cool to have them there. You know, it's always nice to have support close by. But before I left, true story, before I left that locker room, I was one of the last to leave because I think there were some sizing issues for shirts or whatever, and I just had to stick around. I was one of the last to leave. And when I walked out, I got called back in to the coach's office. And he said, actually, you know what? Leave your bag here and we don't know yet if we can take you or not. And he kind of cited some budget issues or whatever. All of a sudden I was going an hour before and now I'm not going. So I was like, all right, I'll just leave my bag here. And he goes, hey, well, you know, we'll call you later. And, and then, you know, we'll get it all sorted out. And I was like, all right. So I drove back to UCLA and everybody's like, oh my God, that's such great news. I can't believe you're going. I mean, you worked so hard. This is amazing. You get the opportunity that you really wanted. And I was like, yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Meanwhile, knowing that I wasn't a shoe in yet to go. So I waited by the phone, waited by the phone, waited by the phone, six o'clock came. Nothing, so I called him at seven, and he goes, hey, actually, yeah, you're not gonna go, so we'll just see you when we get back. So I hung up the phone, and I was crushed. Not only did I have my hopes shattered onto the ground, I had to face everybody who thought I was going and tell them, you know what, actually, I'm not going. So there was like this real social failure as well. I mean, had nobody known that that had all gone down, then it would probably have been a little bit easier to swallow, but since everybody knew, and then I had to admit that I actually wasn't going. That was a double blow. And so it took a few days, I think, for me to recover from that. But I picked myself up, I kept training, and the Galaxy didn't end up signing me, and I went down to San Diego. Uh, there's really no happy ending to that story other than I think I proved that I was a good player when you look back at everything. So that's kind of like my big middle finger to them. But it all worked out the way it was supposed to. Uh, but that was a real test for me uh, in a lot of different ways. And, and you have to decide then whether you're up for it. Are you, are you willing to endure those failures and still keep going? And I don't know how I found the strength sometimes to do it, but I knew what I wanted and I knew that I had the capability of being somebody in this space, in this professional athlete, professional soccer player space. And I didn't want to let anybody else tell me what I could or couldn't do. I was in control of that. And that was really important for me to understand, was that I was in control of how good or bad I was at any point. And I made a lot of mistakes along the way, but, but uh, I learned from those mistakes and, and I'd like to think it made me a better player.